G'day guys, um, <clears throat> this is going to be a, just sort of an update video, uh, more than reviewing something in particular, because uh, I got a little bit screwed over. I bought this thing, this is the Aura Interactor Cushion, it's similar to the, uh, the Aura Interactor Vest, look at that man enjoying his doom. I was assured that everything was in there, got it home. Cushions here, sweet. But two amplifiers. One for the cushion and one for the vest, I think. Yeah. But no power adapters. None. And they use this weird three pronged plus minus 11.5 volts. AC. So that went down in flames. Couldn't do that this week. Or last week when I got it. What a pain, what a pain. So, other things. I got a new Sony PVM. It's a 14 inch one. Uh, this one takes digital RGB. So I'm thinking I'll uh, either move my Tandy onto it or um, maybe connect it to some other machine if I get a CGA card for my, uh, for my IBM PC maybe I'll put this monitor with it um, but that was a couple of bucks real steel next acquisition is this uh, it's a PowerVR PCX2 uh, so it's the Matrox version of the card um, this I bought specifically to get the best MechWarrior 2 experience that I could get. Yeah, so I'm uh, going to build up a system specifically for it. Um, slot 1 system probably with a socket adapter for a P3 1.4. Um, so it should be pretty good. Yeah, I picked up uh, a couple of new games. I picked up uh, Sam Max Hit the Road and Day of the Tentacle. Uh, new inbox. Uh, Mac versions, but um, that doesn't bother me too much. I have the loose discs for the PC versions. I was just after the box and the manuals and that, so that's all uh, good and complete. Switchbox is still doing very nicely, very, very nicely. I've added one more console to it, uh, which is my Xbox here. I don't even know why I did that. Um, I, I own one game for it and that was Mech Assault so that I could soft mod it and then used it for media player purposes and I think I have like Simpsons hit and run on there or something but uh, yeah for you know completion sake I set it up and hooked it up to the system and uh, yeah I finally got my Neo Geo uh, NVS cabinet all set up and running uh, custom made from the ground up. Just using a uh, Trinitron TV. Um, there is supposed to be a bezel there, but uh, I have the speakers attached to it and whatnot, but uh, it actually broke shipping it from where I had it made. So back to the drawing board with that. Uh, but in the meantime, it works really well just with a TV there. It's just a bit ugly. Um, I'm just using one of those 130 38 in one or 161 in one or whatever the crap cartridges uh, that I ordered off AliExpress um, and it's really actually quite nice it has um, you know lots of the games you'd expect um, it's missing Metal Slug 5 you know, which would have been nice but for uh, $40 or whatever it was can't really go wrong As you can see, we just pick a game, and it plays just as if you had the real cartridge. If I spend over here and 
trigger my coin mechanism a couple of times. Just like a bolt one. And uh, that's pretty much it. Hold down one of the player's start buttons. And it drops you back to the menu. So uh, that's the uh, 161 in one cartridge. One other thing I wanted to mention. Uh, in a few weeks, uh, I'll be heading off to Tokyo for a two week holiday. Um, at the end of May. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. Um, no doubt there will be lots of uh, video footage taken of my uh, vintage video game shopping spree. Uh, so that will be on uploaded to the channel. Um, no doubt about that. Stay tuned, definitely. And uh, in the meantime, I'll try and get that Aura Interactor cushion working and hopefully do an episode demonstrating that thing. So uh, until next time, take care and thank you for watching.